Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ServiceNow Flow Designer training. You might have received lot of requirements in which you have to wait for a condition of a record. Whenever you're working or users are working on different types of records, be it incident, change, problem or any other records of ServiceNow platform. And when that condition condition matches, then you want to perform some action. Maybe you want to send one email. You want to do some query to the records. How exactly you can achieve this in ServiceNow with Flow Designer? So ServiceNow provides an action, which is called Wait for Condition. So if you get this kind of requirement then you can achieve it without writing a single line of code with this action that is wait for condition. So let's see how you can use this wait for condition for different types of requirements you get from your customers and clients. So let's move to our personal developer instance. This is my personal developer instance and this is flow designer. So I will create a new flow. So in order to use that wait for condition action, we have to create a new flow. So I will provide a name as demo dot then demo dot incident. And I will just mention run as user who initiates session, I can select the role. Maybe the role could be ITIL and I can just submit this. Now, In order to show you the demo, I need to create a flow. So that's the reason I have created the flow and I will click on this add a trigger. I can also basically increase the screen so, so that you can see all the all the steps properly. So here I will just click on add a trigger. I can just select created. Then here I can just select incident. And I will trigger this when basically state or priority. I will just mention priority is critical. So that's my trigger condition. So whenever priority one incident will be created, this flow should trigger. So then we have action. Now before I select wait for condition, I will select any other action. So maybe let's say I will just select mm, I can select maybe email. So I have this send email and I can select the target record that would be incident. And here I can select the recipient here. I need to select the email address. So I can select assign to and that is also email. So whenever you select in flow, you always have to select that email field. So now here's the email and I can just mention demo or maybe incident is P1. And same thing I can just mention here. So I will just mention incident is P1 and I will just click on done. So this is my first action. Now the requirement is then whenever state changes to on hold, then it triggers something. Maybe it triggers uh, a notification or maybe it can update a comment. So what I would do, uh, update a work note in the incident only that incident is on hold, something like that. So let's say I go to X next here. I will select action and that action name is wait for 
condition wait let me select yes we have here wait for condition and here you can see it says wait for condition action causes the flow to wait until the record matches the specified condition use this activity to block the flow indefinitely until a particular condition is met you must populate the condition field now before i show you that how to use wait for condition it's really important to know for wait for condition action is that that when you will use this so let's say you have a flow you have triggered it and you have performed some action let's say email action what it will do basically it will complete the flow after performing those actions whatever action you have selected but let's say if you are using wait for condition it will basically keep the flow in waiting condition until that condition is matched and then it will perform the action after matching the condition mentioned in wait for condition configuration and then it will complete the flow so basically it will wait indefinitely that is the main thing so you have to use this wait for condition action as per the requirement requirement you get from a customer but you have to make sure that you are using it in the right way so what i will do i will just select wait for condition and when you select wait for condition so it says what record you want to wait for so we will wait for that incident record and here i will mention state is basically hold so it's on hold and i can show you it's it's basically uh, selected on hold so you can see it says state is on hold and i can just click on done i think there are some other uh, you can see uh, other options as well like enable timeout you have duration as well that it should if you don't want this wait for condition to wait uh, basically for uh, indefinite you you want to do some timeout then you can also select this timeout so we have we have uh, duration and we will not mention these uh, options and i will now directly go to here and then what i will do i will basically update or update the record so i will select update and here we have this update record i will update the same record when state changes to on hold and i will mention here let's say work notes and i will mention incident is on hold by flow and it's just an action i have added a uh, comment uh, incident is on hold by flow just to recognize it's the same work note we have added so i will just click on save and i will activate this so now i will show you the exact flow that how exactly it basically makes an uh, a particular flow in waiting condition when you add this wait for condition action so i will go to incident and i will basically create a new incident so here i will create a new incident and i will select abraham lincoln here i can just mention demo for wait for condition i can select the assign to the reason behind it because we have selected assign to email in the send email action and i will create a p1 priority incident so i will select impact and urgency as high and then i will just click on save when i will click on save it will basically trigger this particular flow and i will go here i will go to execution and you can see demo dot incident so it is in waiting condition so let's see how exactly this shows in the logs in the execution details so see our incident was created it sent that email that got completed but now because we have added this wait for condition action it is waiting it will wait until that condition is matched how we will do that so we will go here we will change the state to on hold i will make the 
on hold reason as awaiting vendor and now I am going to change this to save. I'm saving this so it will become on hold. So incident is saved. It is on hold. And if I will come here and if I just reload it, see it got completed because condition got matched. And after that, your action was to update the record. And if I will go in incident and yes, you can see incident is on hold by flow. It automatically got updated. How exactly it got updated? It got updated by this particular flow. So you can see it says update record. I can show you here as well in the logs. So this is the incident. It is basically taking the input from the flow and here it says work underscore node is called incident is on hold by flow. So it's done. So overall, now you can see that this got completed after this step only. Until then, if this condition is not matched, then it will still show you as waiting. So whenever you see waiting state, so you can always check the execution detail that it that particular flow should be waiting for a particular action to be completed or maybe you have a waiting for condition wait for condition action where exactly it is waiting for that particular condition to be matched so that's how you can use wait for condition action in flow designer and deliver the requirement for your customers and clients so thank you for watching this video and have a great day